Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you Shopify SEO optimization guide for beginners. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So whether you're just starting out or looking to enhance your store search engine ranking, then we've got you covered. So let's dive right into it. So the first crucial step is securing the perfect domain for your store. Now, instead of sticking with the default myshopify.com domain, consider getting an SEO-friendly domain name. So we'll be showing you how to do it within your Shopify admin. So in this case, we want to head over to our settings located at the bottom left here. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, you want to scroll down to find the domains section. Go ahead and click on it. Now from here, we have two options. We either have the option to buy a new domain or connect an existing domain. Now, if you already have an existing domain, go ahead and connect that. But if you're pretty new, just click on the buy a new domain. Now, in this case, I will be suggesting you to use the .com or .store or .shop domain. So those are the most popular ones and mo the most rememberable one. Now, in this case, I'm just going to type the store name here. Just give you an example. And from here, as you can see, this domain is available. So again, as that .com is the most popular one, I suggest you to use that. But again, you could use the .store or the .shop option here since they are the closest one if you have a store. Now, .net and .org is more on the business side. So if you have like an organization or if you're a uh, have it or you have like a for example a online library you could go ahead and use that but in this case if you have a shop use dot com dot store or dot shop now next up let's talk about creating seo friendly product listings so keywords play a vital role in this so i'll dem demonstrate how to use keyword search tools like keywords that from dot com or google trends to find the right keywords for your products. So this step ensures that your products align with what customers are actively searching for. So in this case, let's head over to googletrends.com or trends.google.com. And from here, we have this main UI here. So in this case, we could go ahead and just enter what we think a keyword that will be a fit for our product. Now in this case, since I already have like, if I go to my product section here, I have a sticker product here. So maybe you want to basically search for a sticker. So this one, it depends on your product itself. So if you think a keyword would fit your product, go ahead and search that. Now in this case, we have this section here that says interest over time. So when you hover on the question mark here, it's going to say interest over time numbers represent search interest relative to the highest point on the chart for the given region and time. So a value of 100 is the peak popularity for the term and a value of 50 means that the term is half as popular and a score of zero means that there was not enough data for this term. So meaning that if you see a peak here, like for example, for stickers, they it, there is a certain peak here that is 100 around November 10. So it means that currently this specific keyword is quite popular. Now, if you want to change the country for this one, like for example, Philippines is going to be the default one for me, but you could change this to other countries as well. So like for example, we want to go to Australia. And instead of past day, we could go ahead and like, for example, past 30 days. And from here, as you can see, this is the popularity for it. Like for example, on October 14, it was really popular. So 100, so it was really trending. Now by focusing on high search value keywords, you increase your chances of getting noticed. So I'll walk you through the process of choosing the right keywords here. So based on the search volume and competition. So in this case, since we already have stickers, we want to go back into our store here. Now, now that we have our keywords, it's time to integrate them into your product descriptions. So crafting SEO friendly product description enhances the chance of your product showing up in relevant searches. So it's simple yet effective way to boost your store's overall SEO. Now in this case, we want to go ahead and go to our product here. Go to your product section, choose the product you want to edit. And under in this description section, go ahead and just paste the description or the keyword that we just searched. So in this case, we want to ensure that we say sticker here and other keywords that you want to say. But make sure when you add the words here, make sure that you make it a free flowing. Like for example, make a very cool free flowing sentence here or a paragraph describing the product itself. And finally, to take your SEO game to the next level, you might want to consider adding SEO apps to your Shopify store. 
So we'll be showing you how to explore the Shopify app store here for tools that can help us optimize your images, improve page speed, enhance your overall SEO, and these apps can help significant difference in your store's performance. Now, for you to go to the app section, you want to go to the app section here at the lower uh, or left side here. Go ahead and click on it and the search bar should appear here. Now, in this case, we want to search for SEO and just press on enter and the Shopify or apps Shopify should appear. Now, there are different tools that you could use here and they actually work in different ways. Like for example, we have the Booster SEO here in Image Optimizer. So this one is for uh, optimizing your images so that the images would actually load properly. Because sometimes if you have like high quality images, it might sometimes basically load fairly slow. So this will help you with that. Now we also have the SEO Optimizer to fix SEO issues and each increase traffic from Google. So you, there are different tools here. You can go ahead and explore that and install it on your store and probably increase your SEO. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.